Hi CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we're going to be making a really easy beanie using the drop down half double crochet. We're going to be using a 5.75 millimeter hook, but of course you can use any yarn or any hook you wish. You're going to need a button because we're going to use that to hold our poof on. You're going to need a um, darning needle. You're going to need a pair of scissors. And you're going to need a darning needle that fits into your buttons, so keep that in mind, okay? Now, this works as you're working it is going back and forth across, but when we actually turn it to make a beanie, it's going to go vertical. So keep that in mind when you go to start your chains, um, and remember that you want it to fit around the head loosely and not too tightly. So this is the poof that I'm using for the top of the hat. This is um, a neutral hat. It can be for men or women, and it is slouchy, okay? So let's go ahead and get into what this stitch is like. Now, you're going to start this with a row of single cro uh, single crochets. Then you're going to come back with a row of half double crochets, and then it's just a one row repeat. You're basically doing exactly what I'm about to show you. Um, so there's really no need to start necessarily from the beginning, but as you can see, um, you're working on the side of your stitch, and that's why this is called a drop down half double crochet. Normally, we'd work through these V stitches right here on the top that you see me pull in with the needle, but you're going to work on that side one. So you're going to pull in just like this and work a half double crochet on the side of that um, stitch there so not on the top but on the side and you just keep doing these half double crochets into the side part of your stitch going all the way down back and forth and when you do that it creates this beautiful ridging and the reason it does that is because normally when we're working on to on top of the stitch under or the top of the v and you're just going back and forth it doesn't create any um, ridges because you're just going through the top. When you're pulling it down through the side, it causes the stitch to go forward, and that's what creates our ridge. Okay, so we're almost at our last stitch, and I wanted to give you a little pointer for this because it's kind of hard to find. Turn your work on its side, look for that V, and then once you see the V, then you'll know where you need to work into that drop down stitch on the side, okay? And so then all you, and now you can see you've got these beautiful ridges, and so now all you're going to do is chain one, turn your work, and once you go to turn your work, you're going to work just like you have been. You're gonna be working in the side stitch. So right there you see the V on the top, and instead you're gonna be going down into the side stitch, go right into there and work that half double crochet. And then you'll just keep doing that all the way down. And then again, you would chain one and keep repeating that until you get to the length that you want, okay? And just so you know, I ended up chaining 70 in the beginning for my work. I wanted to make this a very slouchy beanie, so just keep that in mind. Now you're going to turn your work on its side where the ridges are going vertical and not horizontal. And then you're going to start slip stitching up the side to close the beanie, okay? So because this isn't worked in the round or anything, you've got to close it up. And to do that, you're going to go through each one of these stitches on either side, making a slip stitch going all the way up to close. And once we get done slip stitching the side, um, even though it makes a pretty invisible seam, we still want to turn it inside out so you can't see anything at all.
Okay, so now we've turned our work inside out and now we're going to be taking our darning needle and we're going to be going in and out and in and out of each stitch and then pulling and then keep doing that all the way around until you get to the beginning where you started and then we're going to cinch it closed for the top of our beanie. Now, not everybody does this, but after I cinch up the top of my beanie, I like to go through a couple of times going back and forth there at the top just to make sure that there's no opening whatsoever. Uh, it's not totally necessary. You're going to put that poof there anyway, so it doesn't necessarily have to be there, but I just want to make sure that there's no hole at all. Then I'm going to take my darning needle with the yarn on it and I'm going to go right through the center and pull down into the middle, put my hand up through the beanie and then pull that yarn through and then go ahead and squish it up so that I can see right there in the middle because that's where I'm going to put my button. So now I'm going to work in my button just like I would on a pair of pants or on a shirt. You're just going to go back and forth going through all these different, uh, your different four holes there. And um, some people like to go back through the top of the beanie, but that's just such a pain. So I just go through the sides here, as you can see, get a good chunk of yarn with my needle and go through there and then come back again. Once I get my button sewed on, I'm going to cut off, take my darning needle off. Well, actually, first, I'm going to make sure that I work in that yarn three times because we don't want our button to come undone. And then I can go back up to the top, and then I'm going to start bringing in my poof. So to do that, you're going to find the middle piece of your poof. So these kinds that you buy on Amazon, and I'll put that link below, they have this little white piece that you can pull on right there. And so what I do is I take my hook, I go in through the middle of the beanie with my hook right to right above where the button is right there or near the button and I'm going to place my hook through grab that little elastic piece pull it through and then I'm going to go back into the middle of my beanie and I've still got that elastic on my hook okay and then I can pull that elastic up with my finger off the hook and then I can place that elastic right around that button and let me tell you that is not moving at all this is the best way to put on one of these poofs and even if you're going to be using one that you've made out of yarn you can still make a little um, place a little piece of elastic on it as well and do it this way I still think it's a great way no matter how you're doing it Okay, so now you can work in all your ends and what you get done with that, you're all done with your beanie. What I did with mine, because I did so many rows, um, I ended up folding it up about um, two big times so that it would stay really slouchy at the top. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notify me bell below, and I'll see you again soon, guys. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.